Wednesday, I'm going to be moving into my 2021 life planner. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, I mentioned that I spilled tea all over my 2020 to 2021 life planner, specifically the months like January, February, March, and some of April. And so I bought a brand new life planner during the Black Friday, eight days of daily deals sale. So I am setting up my yearly overview page. On this page, I'm going to be writing down the books that I read for the year, which will probably not be many because I'm going to be in school and super busy, but I still want to read for leisure because it's important to my mental health to have something outside of school for myself. this page I thought it would be fun to kind of have like a snapshot of the year highlights from each month I'm still not entirely sure about how I want to set it up so I just wrote the title for now and I was counting the lines to see how much space I had to give each month but then I decided I'm gonna hold off on finishing it for now I was counting lines again because I wanted to see how much space I had for the prompts and books on my reading list. I picked 15 books uh, to read next year, one a month plus one each break from a semester that I'm gonna have. The prompts that I'm writing down are from the Pop Sugar 2021 Reading Challenge. They come out with a list of prompts every year and every year I try to do them and I, the closest I got was this past year, I did 24 prompts and then I did 12 other books that were not on the prompt list because I have an unhealthy obsession with historical romance novels. you're gonna see me color coding my reading list. I tried to match the books with the month that I think I want to read them in based off of what my program looks like and uh, how I typically handle being over-programmed and overwhelmed. Uh, I also have my three extra books written in black because those are my semester break books. I didn't want to find them in I also am going to have like an image of the book cover and the synopsis to pause if you want to read, in case you want to read those books.
asterisking the extra books in silver to remind myself that they're extra. I don't actually have to read them, but it would be nice if I did, if I had time. went over them again in gold just so it was easier for me to see. Alright, so now I'm going to go through each month and I made a list of dates that I needed to know for school when I'm starting classes when the semester ends finals week and I also wrote down religious days that I'm going to be observing over the year. For my school stuff, I stopped in the summer semester because they haven't released the academic calendar for 2021 to 2022 just yet, so I'm just going to have to add those in later. I also, since I had some stuff coming up for January, decided I should throw that in and kill two birds with one stone.
I'm going to be writing down gift ideas I have for my family members for their birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day, any other special days that pop up. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Comment down below what you're excited about for 2021 and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.